Hello, my name is Augustin Kuma. I'm a public health practitioner from Ghana. I'm sharing with you a study we conducted in Ghana that assessed the quality of adolescent sexual reproductive health services within some selected facilities. Specifically, we looked at the structural and process factors that were available in delivering quality adolescent sexual reproductive health services in Ghana. One would ask why is it important for us to focus on quality services for adolescents? It's really necessary because adolescents are likely to face a range of health and social challenges such as unwanted pregnancies, unsafe abortions, sexually transmitted infections including HIV and AIDS. Adolescents are also faced with unavailable sexual reproductive health services or Services that are provided to them are um, provided in a way that makes them feel unwelcomed or even embarrassed at the point of service delivery. So as future leaders, it is important for us to ensure that adolescents are really well informed. They should be well educated when it comes to their health and services that are available for them. And we need to ensure that we are provided them, providing them with access to health quality health services. So we conducted a study using the Namibian model for assessing quality of care, which talks about the structure and the processes that we need to have in place in order to deliver quality health services within the healthcare system. And so we benchmark um, in terms of the standard or in terms of delivering adolescent sexual reproductive health services, what structures do we need to have in place and what processes that um, we need to follow to ensure that we are delivering quality adolescent sexual reproductive health services to adolescents. We carry out this study in 158 selected facilities across three regions in Ghana, the Koti region, the Volta, and the Eastern region of Ghana. We found some structural and process barriers that affected the delivery of quality um, services to adolescents. When it comes to privacy, we, we observed that proportion of the facilities that we assessed did not have separate spaces for the delivery of adolescent sexual reproductive health services. So we realized that the, um, the space is used for um, other immunization, vaccination, or any other activity within the facility. And so when service uh, delivery is ongoing, there are interruptions um, either from a patient who wants to assess uh, any other, other service which is rendered within that same space, or there are some interruptions from a colleague staff or a, a staff from the facility who is either coming in for some an, an information or a resource material. Um, when it has to do with adolescent health literacy, where we observe that most of the facilities have educational materials on adolescent sexual reproductive health services. However, these materials were either not available for adolescents to take home or were only in the English language and were not translated in the native languages. Uh, one key observation is also the fact that service delivery is always within the school hours at the time adolescents are in school. So after school hours, um, adolescents do not have access to some of these services. So services are not delivered uh, after school hours, including holidays and weekends. So what do we need to do to ensure we are delivering quality adolescent sexual reproductive health services? We need to first of all understand that adolescents have rights to quality health services. We therefore need to strengthen and improve the healthcare system to provide that services or quality services to adolescents. Services such as appropriate information, contraception, treatment for sexually transmitted infections, counseling, etc. Then we have to ensure that the health service must be very sensitive to adolescents' needs and developmental attributes to attract them. 
This is the only way adolescents will be attracted to their services and there will be an increase in the utilization of such services by adolescents. Then we need to ensure active participation of adolescents in programs that affect them. Adolescents can make meaningful contributions to such programs. So every program that is designed to improve either on the quality of adolescents' sexual reproductive health services or its utilization, there must be an active participation by adolescents. So let's involve adolescents in programs that affect them. There are more findings from this study that can really help shape um, or inform policy decision towards improving the quality of adolescent sexual reproductive health services in Ghana. You can find the full findings of this study in the Global Journal on Quality and Safety in Healthcare. Look out for this journal and read more on this study. Thank you.